All right, let's move away from uh, the uh, uh, Super Rigos and uh, see what Arsenal um, is uh, telling us. Uh, the new Arsenal signing, Thomas Partey, I think that's uh, how he is uh, uh, named, uh, wants to help the club get back to where they normally are, of course, uh, and that is the idea of winning the Premier League title. The 27-year-old Ghanaian midfielder joined the Gunners in a £45 million deal from Atletico Madrid in the transfer window. Arsenal have been champions of England 13 times with their last title coming in 2003-2004. In a recent interview with the club website, Partey stated that it is a desire of his and everyone associated with the club to win trophies. Furthermore, he made it clear that the task ahead is difficult, but the players are ready and will do all it takes to get the club back to where it belongs. Oh, wh Boom. Wh <laughs> what should the fans be expecting from this new signing? Well, Thomas Partey, I must say he's a dynamic box-to-box -box midfielder. And then when I say dynamic, he can perform different roles defensively, centrally and attacking wise you can see from the last friendly match that he played for ghana he provided two assists you know so that goes to show you that he has an eye for a good pass and knows how to link play between wingers and strikers as well he is extremely intelligent on the field of play there's a reason why he has been in atletico madrid for the last six years coming up through their youth ranks and being able to play alongside the likes of Koki, sal niguez uh, joao felix you know thomas lemar He's that intelligent of a player and he is a major reason why Atletico Madrid were so successful so far under Diego Simeone. Coming to Arsenal, he is the answer to a lot of problems. Since the 2011-2012 season, Arsenal has lacked a defensive midfielder. The last defensive midfielder that Arsenal had, in my opinion, was Alexander Song. Since then, it's been difficult for them because Arsenal is such a team that are effective when it comes to attacking. However, from the transition from attack to defence has always been a problem for them. Hence, them conceding a lot of goals. And that's why you see them in, from winning positions, they've lost so many points since 2018. That's a terrible start for you to have as a team. And also, as a team who wants to win trophies, it's not good at all. Also, he brings new... Uh, tactical options for Mikel Arteta. Since Arteta took over at Arsenal, he first started off with a 4-2-3-1 formation, but then seeing that the defence was so weak and Arsenal were prone to individual errors, then switched to a 3-4-3. Now this formation enables Arsenal to um, attack and defend effectively and also curbs a lot of individual errors and defensive errors as well. So far, so good, it's been brilliant for the team. However, in recent games, you see that when Arsenal face huge oppositions, or defensively niggling teams, they just lack that bit of creativity. And with Mesut Ozil out of the team, who then fills in the shoes? Now with Pate coming in, Pate will now be a link between the defence and the attack, so that the likes of Dani Ceballos, Bukayo Saka can then move infield and then be the creators for the team. You would see more appearances from the likes of Emil Smith Rowe and Joe Willock as well. But majorly, Ceballos and Bukayo Saka would be the double pivots of that number eight position for Mikel Arteta. It will take time before we see them actually switch over to the 4-3-3. Um, Partey needs to blend into the team. However, in my opinion, I don't think he needs so much time to blend into the team. He's a fantastic player, and I think he'll hit the ground running this weekend against Manchester City. What do you think the chances are you know, of winning titles uh, with his... <laughs> Look, um, he's a new player, he's optimistic, he's in a new country as well. I'm sure Mikel Arteta um, spoke to him about his plan and he's quite optimistic about the plans as well, as he should be. However, I don't, think, I don't see Arsenal winning a trophy anytime soon, maybe in the next three years. For this season alone, I believe a top four finish is guaranteed and is expected. However, with time, as the players continue to gel and with the new players that Arteta possibly wants to get during the January transfer window, and in more seasons to come, I believe Arsenal will then become a formidable team who can actually challenge for the English Premier League title. All right. We wish them the best. Uh, we haven't seen anything like the Invincibles uh, since the 2 3 4 season. Um, so hopefully they can still grab one or two trophies like you've mentioned in the next three years. Hopefully. All the best to Arsenal. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us on The Breakfast. It was a pleasure. Thank you for having me. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.